Today I'd like to talk a little bit on the comparison between Azure SQL Database and Cosmos Database when it comes to global distribution of your data. If you've been paying attention, Cosmos DB is a globally distributed multi-model database solution with high SLAs around the distribution and the, glo and the global nature. It's designed for your applications. It has, um, it supports document databases. It supports graph databases. It has consistency models that are very good for applications going from strong to eventual. Those are all the things that kind of play into what happens in Cosmos. Azure SQL Database is what you expect in your database solution. It has the whole concepts of consistent reads and the, you know, the ability to store your data there. But when we talk about global replication, globally distributing your data, let's, let's talk about the differences for just a few minutes. When we talk about distributing Cosmos DB, you get a primary, you know, instance to write against. And then it's distributed to all the rest of your read-only replicas around the world that you pick and choose. You can turn them on or turn them off. But why does it make Cosmos DB special? What makes it different, say, from, you know, global replication in SQL database? We'll jump into some of that in just a moment. But you can just push, push a button. You can activate new scenarios. You can run manual failover transactions. The key here, the real heart of the matter for Cosmos DB is it was built for global distribution. It has the, the controls and the design in it that allows it to be globally distributed. SLA is associated with that global distribution. And really, one of the cool things is you get one URL, and that URL knows where to go. It does all the work around that, and you get the ability to do it. So let's talk about active global replication with Azure SQL Database. This is, makes it possible to globally distribute your SQL Server databases. And it's pretty awesome, or Azure SQL Databases. It's pretty awesome when you think about it. I now have the ability to do... Uh, to have a primary replica, let's say in the Eastern United States, but I can put a secondary read-only replica out in Europe and another secondary read-only replica out in uh, Asia so that I can have read closer to the folks who are actually using the applications and, and my global application. A couple things to be aware of. You can only have four read-only replicas off of a read-only secondaries off of any individual Azure SQL database. Now, it is possible to chain them. Uh, I'll let you look that one up on your own, but it is possible to actually do more than four, but standard would be a primary with four reads. Whereas Azure or as Cosmos DB is able to replicate wherever the Cosmos DB is in the data center. You just go and click a button and boom, I've got a replica going. Um, manual failover really isn't something you would do with Azure SQL database in order to do things like uh, chase the sun. So in Cosmos DB, we can use manual failover operations, or we can code these out and actually have the the right chase of sun so it can actually be written to wherever it is in the world closer to the active people using your application. That is actually supported and something that the, you know, that type of technique is, is valid within Cosmos DB. We would not do that in Azure SQL database. All those rights have to come to a single replica or the primary, and we'd have to feed it out to the replicas or read. So we do have some latency in there that's not, you know, around what we would normally consider. Probably the biggest thing that you'll notice the pain point on is managing the connectivity to your Azure SQL database in a globally re replicated scenario. There are some techniques out there to make it easier, tools within Azure that make it easier, such as um, Traffic Manager makes it simpler and makes it easier for you to use. And so there's more of this that you can do. You have the option to actually, you know, uh, use an IP address at Traffic Manager and route things through Traffic Manager and do the work, but you have to set all that up. Cosmos DB, that's, that work is done for you. So it's designed from the ground up to be globally replicated and it has advantages. Doesn't mean you shouldn't use active global replication in Azure SQL database. It's a great feature. Using to understand the difference in the use cases and make sure that you are using the database that best fits your needs to distribute your data globally. If you'd like to talk a little more about either Azure SQL Database or Cosmos DB or anything Azure, click the link below. We'd be happy to talk with you about it. Thank you so much and have a great day.